say they never thought it would happen to them. Those same parents now vowing to never allow it to happen to other families, and now U.S. representatives want to help fight for life. Bipartisan legislation was just introduced with the goal of eliminating drunk driving. 7 News reporter Stephanie Grinley met with advocates who say the end to reckless driving endangerment is here. 13 years ago, this bus stop was in pieces. Its culprit, a drunk driving accident, leaving one person dead. And 13 years later, the mother of the victim, Jody Miller, tells me legislation is being made available that will make sure this type of scenario never happens again. This is the beginning of the end of drunk driving as we know it. Heather Miller was a passenger of a drunk driving accident. Thanks to awareness, drunk driving deaths have gone from 25,000 to a plateau at 10,000. But what we really want is zero. Since Heather, it's been almost another 130,000 victims. And I truly believe if this technology was back in 2008, my daughter would be here today. U.S. Representatives, Michigan Democrat Debbie Dingell, New York Democrat Kathleen Rice, and West Virginia Republican David McKinley are putting life-saving technology into law. In a statement, Congressman McKinley says, quote, this legislation will ensure that vehicles utilize technology to stop drunk driving and ensure no more American lives are lost. So what is the technology? Three things. Two to the likes of lane assist you already see in most cars. Driving monitoring, which the car would detect erratic driving. Driver monitoring, the car analyzes the eyes of the driver and whether those eyes are on the road. And for both, the car can sound an alarm. If that does not work, it can pull over. And the third, a built-in breathalyzer, which those with a DUI record must use, but there are loopholes. My daughter was killed by a drunk driver. Um, this is this was multiple conviction drunk driver, court ordered breathalyzer, borrowed her friend's car and killed my daughter with the friend's car. It will be up to the National Highway Transportation and Safety Administration to set a gauge of how much erratic driving or head nodding. How sensitive do we make these rules? You know what I mean? Because if you make yes. it too sensitive, then you will have 20 cars pulled over on the side of the road. If you make it not sensitive and, enough, and, you're not doing any good. And, and, and what Matt advocates for is enough to be able to stop people from killing other people when they're driving impaired. And the federal government needs to take the responsibility of defining what that is. Like the seatbelt mandate, some will not receive this legislation with open arms, to which this morning parent says one thing. There is no right to drink and drive. It is against the law. Stephanie, thank you. MAD's national president says the time is now to pass this bipartisan bill known as the Halt Drunk Driving Act. We'll see how it fares in Congress.